and I'm live. Hi, two people watching. I'm going to try to pull this up. I'm actually at home and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, let me pull this up on my computer. Hi guys, if you're joining, I'm pulling this up on my computer so I can see the comments a little bit easier instead of me constantly looking at my phone. So now I can kind of look at this way. So hi, the two of you that are here. Um, I'm a little close, a little bit further away. Um, so as you know, we're, this is Five Things Friday. This, my name's Misty and I'm a reseller on YouTube or on YouTube, on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Hi, hi, Annette. Hi, Pammy. Hi, Thrifty Esme. Hi, Tammy. So I've had a eventful day yesterday. Um, I, well, my husband and I and my dad, we've decided that we were going to go ahead and close Wildflower Antiques. And we decided that it's something that we've been thinking about for a while. Hi, thrifty thrifters or thirsty thrifters. I'm telling you what, my I'm going to be talking all over myself because it's been a little bit of an emotional, but okay, day. Um, yes, we are closing Wildflower Antiques, and it isn't because we have to. We don't have to. Um, we own the building outright. We, you know, our overhead is very low. We're doing it because we want to. We kind of want our lives back. Um, if you have owned a retail store, you know how much time and energy that it that it takes to put into it. And, um, you know, we were only open a couple days a week, but it, we were basically making it somewhat of a full-time job. Hi, <laughs> Alex. Alex is joining. So, um, so that as far as the storefront that part is is going is closing that is that doesn't mean that my reselling is ending it definitely doesn't mean that youtube is ending it definitely doesn't mean that you're not going to see dad because dad and i are still going to go out junking and thrifting and um so we're still going to everything's going to be just as it always has been only we're going to have a little bit more time to dedicate to do the things that we enjoy to do, and that is going out and buying things. Now, having an antique store and being open on the weekends limits you because you need to go junking on the weekends, and we couldn't because we were at the shop. So um, we're looking forward to it. Now, we, we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do with everything else. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm still going to come on here and go live and show things because I have 2,500 square feet filled to the brim of things that I need to get rid of now. So um, that just adds a whole other adventure to this. To this, So um, I'm looking at the comments. So Tammy, you owned a flower shop. So you know that it is very time consuming. Uh, and it, you know, we have family that live out of town and it made it very difficult to be able to go to family events because we were always worried about the shop and being opened and and not only that is you know maintaining the the business aspect but just the maintaining of me going in and staging things which I enjoy to do but it's a lot of work okay time consuming yes but it isn't going to change my channel it's not going to change me bringing things for you to purchase for me I actually have things right here that um, I haven't gotten listed yet that I'm going to show you but I wanted to just, we wanted to go ahead and, and, and talk about this so you guys knew what was going on with the shop and just so y'all are aware. Is dad staying in the apartment or are you keeping the building? Okay, we don't know yet. We, well, yeah, I mean, uh, for the time being, yes. Um, my dad lives above the shop. And like I said, we own the building outright. We've put a lot of money into the building, but we got it for a really good price too, so once we sell the building, we're, if we sell the building, we're able to, you know, make a profit from our investment. So that's always a good idea. Um, we're kind of, at this point, we're kind of thinking, will I ever do a, or, I'll get to that. Um, we're kind of thinking that we may try to sell the building. Well, sell the contents first, 
whatever way we decide um, if we have a big sale or if we start setting up at some shows. I don't know that we're going to do that. Um, I would like to start having more like online kind of live, I want to say live auctions, but kind of on that same aspect where I'll um, advertise that I'm going to be having a sale, whether that be on uh, YouTube or um, I don't know all the logistics of it yet and if it's even allowed on YouTube and that kind of thing, but, um, or on Facebook, um, live or Instagram, you know, some way, shape or form doing some sort of a live sale. Uh, and, or we may have an auction. I don't know. The furniture pieces I probably will put on Facebook marketplace and, um, it's just the smalls, but we've got a lot. I was in there yesterday and it was just, I was just overwhelmed and stressed out because we have so much stuff. And you have to understand is, you know, we, we're constantly, we're buying stuff, but a lot of the stuff my dad has had for 40 years. So we're, we've kind of, <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff. It's very overwhelming. Okay. So what we think we might do is sell the building and possibly sell our home and look for a place where dad could live with us, have his own space and me be able to have a better setup for my reselling business. Hi, Sally. Happy New Year. That's kind of the plan. I, we live in like a, you know, 15, 1600 square foot home right now and I'm reselling out of it and there's no room. So I don't know. We're taking it one day at a time, but we thought if it's something that we've been thinking about, we might as well go ahead and start now at the first of the year, not have to worry about the 2020 sales tax starting up again. So that was, that was the reason why we just decided yesterday that, you know, we might as well. It's going to be a big year. So exciting. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to getting my life back and being able to do the things that we like to do as a family. And honestly, it, Dad's vision of what how he thought things should run or be in the shop kind of differated, differentiated from hi Diana, good morning from Vincent's, from where I, what things that I wanted to be. And so we were constantly just uh, kind of bickering with one another, and we don't want to do that. So I think that this will be better. I think that this is a good thing. I'm excited about it. I know that a lot of people in our little town were shocked because, you know. You know, we have been voted the best antique store for the past three years. We, you know, we're a small shop. People like our shop. But there are days that you spend the entire day in there and you're not, you're not selling much. I sell a lot more online than, I make more money selling things online than I do owning, owning a brick and mortar shop. Okay, so are you guys ready to see some stuff? Oh, I also have some friend mail that I'm going to open from um, Thrifting Adventures. She told, she sent me a message and said that she had sent me some friend mail. So I might go ahead and do that first. And then I'll go ahead and show you the goodies that I have um, available if you want to purchase before I list them on eBay. Um, so I've had this for a little bit because I wanted to do it when I was live. Um, love the items you picked to show. I think that I've got some... Some of, a couple of these things you've seen because I've they're, they've been in a recent haul, but I'm just I'm just gonna scroll through comments. You shared. I see this as a great change for you. Yes, it is. It's a good change, Esme. It's a really good change. I went to bed feeling a little bit lighter, although I went to bed and I couldn't sleep. I was up till about three o'clock in the morning because I have so many thoughts that are running through my head. So I'm a little tired today. I just could not sleep. What I did do last night, and if you don't watch his video, his videos on YouTube, you totally should. It's the Antique Nomad. I'll, once this video goes live, I'll link his channel below. But he only, he has less than a hundred subscribers, and I he is just a wealth of knowledge and information about vintage and antiques, and he's fun to watch. He just he goes all different parts of the Midwest and parts of the country and um, finds these treasures and he's walking through an antique store and he just will look at something and can like spew off all the information that you want to know about it. Um, 
So he he's amazing. And he should have more subs. He really, really should. So make sure that you subscribe to him and and watch him. But he he's he was he's a little treasure that I found. So and also Thrifting Adventures, make sure that you subscribe to her channel too. She puts out content almost daily. And she should have a lot more subs than what she does too. So make sure that you I'll link both of their channels below and go and check both of them out. Hi Judy. You missed the beginning. What happened? I'm closing Wildflower my brick and mortar, but I'm still reselling and I'm still continuing everything on YouTube. It's just freeing us up to be able to do the things like this that we like. And it's a good thing. We're closing because we want to, not because we have to. And there's a big difference there. Um, so I know when you close a shop, some people, and I know in my town, people will be like, oh, well, why are they closing? What's going on? Nothing. Everything's great. Everything's fine. We're, we're feeling the happiest we felt in a very long time. So um, it's a good thing. Okay. So let me open up stuff that I have received from Thrifting Adventures. And then I'll get into the goodies. She sent me a little card. And see, I'm, I'm looking over here because instead of me trying to push my finger on my phone, I can see. Hi, Teresa. This is a really fun card. Whoops. Oh, here's her card. She sent me some friend mail. The Christmas will have to save. I really appreciate your channel. And I thought I would send you some gifts. Have a wonderful holiday. She's so sweet. So here is her card, Thrifting Adventures. And she does have a YouTube channel. And I will link it when this video goes, gets uploaded. Um, and she does post videos almost daily. So make sure that you, I think she's in Washington State, I think. Hi, Elisa. Okay. Okay, Judy, you send me a little note. You can send me emails and little notes all you want. Oh, she has these things all packed in here so nice. So the first thing she sent with this little, this little teddy bear ornament. I love these wooden ornaments. Oh, oh my gosh. She sent this little Santa, and I think I have the Mrs. Claus that goes with this. Yay! Hi, socially awkward seller. Hi, caffeinated Christy. This is so cute. Yay. Oh, she also sent this fun little ornament. I think this is a Hallmark ornament. Yep, it sure is. A little skier, and he's flocked. Fun. So this is this little, really sweet little doily, and it has these little blue roses on it. That little Santa is adorable. Yes, I'm. The vlogging, it's the vlogging is a little awkward for me because do y'all really want to see what I do? That's just strange to me, but they seem to do pretty well. <laughs> so late to class. Hi, Sherry. Well, she also sent me these fun little cookie cutters. This will be great for Valentine's Day. And a little pig. I'm getting ready to. I have a Valentine's Day hoard. I'm going to be making a video pulling all that stuff out. So that'll be a fun video. Oh, this is another Valentine cookie cutter to go with that. What day are you closing? We're closing. We're closed as of now. <laughs> as of right now. I'm, I'm supposed to be opening today, but I'm not. Um... We, I, we're still trying to figure out, we're wanting to go talk to our accountant to see if we had like some big closing sale or something. We just don't want it to mess with our 2009 or 2020 taxes. So that was kind of the reason why we decided just kind of all of a sudden, but not really, really. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you, Cynthia. That could be used as a shamrock. Absolutely. Hmm, that's a good idea. So she also sent this little ribbon narrow, or it's called, it's not, it's from the brand ribbon narrow, but it's this little angel. That's really cute. It's metal. I like the metal, the bells on it. It's still in the package. Like that. And she had sent this little box of treasures here. Oh, and some Wade Whimsies. Oh, my friend Tammy. If you're watching these, Tammy loves Wade Whimsies. 
Hi, good morning from Texas. So the whimsies are this little fish. I don't think I've seen this one. That's the fun thing about these because like these things in Indiana, you can find different ones here than when where you can where she lives. I think she lives near Seattle. There's a little eagle. These are so cute. And a seal. Good morning, Lizzie. And a little duck. Good morning, Kimberly from Nashville. That's a place that I really want to go to. So see, I'm hoping it frees up some time so I can go out and do some picking outside of my borders. Good morning, Lorianne. And a little lion. Oh, this one's so cute. And a little hippo. I love these and I love little miniature things. So these, thank you so much. So make sure that you subscribe to Thrifting Adventures channel. Um, like I said, I'll link her information below, but thank you for sending me that happy night. It made me feel good because I've been feeling a little weird and my family's about ready to kick me out of the house. Um, happy morning. Liz from New Jersey. Don't be sad, Liz. It's a good thing. It's going to be able to free up my time to be able to, you know, okay. Am I back? In my back. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I'm back. Let me know if I'm back. Oh, I tell you what, technology. I need to have a little sip of yes, it is 10 o'clock and I'm drinking Mountain Dew. Just just letting you know. That's what what runs through my veins. Okay, good. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was so stressed out about me not being here so okay 28 people still watching yay i haven't lost everybody yet um thank you for st sticking with me <laughs> during the technical difficulties um okay so make sure you subscribe to the antique nomad and thrifting adventures cheryl says i'm still frozen this is what makes me nervous. I love going live, but then there's things like this that happen and it just makes me a little nervous. All right. Thank you, Sally. Okay, are you ready for some goodies? Let me show you some goodies. Now, the first two things I'm gonna show you are things that, um, uh, watching from Austria, I wanna be there. Okay, these two things are, someone had reached out saying that they wanted these, and then I haven't really heard back from them. So I'm going to show them again. So if you're watching, let me know. And, oh, came back to say goodbye. Bye, Tammy. Have a fun day at work. Hope you have a good day. I need to come thrifting in northern Indiana. I used to live in northern Indiana. Um, my daughter was born in South Bend. I, bye, Tammy. Come, I just try to have a good day. <laughs> Bye, Tammy. Okay, so I have these two little doggies. I have this, what, which is what I think is a Boston Terrier, and I he's six dollars. He's made in Japan. He the only thing that's wrong with him is he has just like a little. You see a little spot right there on his leg and that's a sticker I have to clean off but um Granger I've been to Granger used to live in Mishawaka used to live in North Liberty um but that's the only thing that's wrong with him but he is six dollars and if this is if you were wanting him let me know and if you're interested in him let me know he's six dollars and he's just a statue he's not a planter he's just a little statue and then this guy uh, is a corgi? Is he a corgi? I don't know. He's a corgi or a collie. What he is? Um, Wade figures. Some of them are. Some of them are worth some money. A lot of them are common, but there are some. You always have to look them up and see with the Wade ones. Wade whimsies, which were these little guys. So always look them up. You just do type in Wade whimsies and then type in lion and. You can see there's different styles and stuff and you can see what they're 
what their value is. Um, but anyway, little, little dog here, he's also $6. And he isn't, yeah, he is marked. He's marked, I don't know if he's Norcrest, maybe. But, Corgi, plant, planter. So I showed those because I had a subscriber that wanted those, but I, but I, I, we lost contact. So, all right. And then the other things I have to show, these are things that, that are from my own personal mug collection. I'm decluttering. So I'm going to show these because they were out in the garage and I thought I'm just going to show those too before I show. And these are some of the mugs from my personal collection. And I am, so if you're interested in any of these, let me know. I'm selling them for $6 plus shipping. There's one of them that's a set of two and they don't match, but they kind of go together. But anyway, this one is uh, a Clemens pottery, but it says flattery will get you everywhere. And it's in great condition. Um, it has the graphic on both sides. It's Clemens pottery on the bottom. So I am selling this one for $6. I like these mugs, but I have so many of them. I got to get rid of them. And then there's this fun one. This one has one little, one little spot on it. It's not marked. It is marked USA, but there's no maker's mark on it. And I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to show it. Don't let them do that to you. That's all I'm saying. Um, it is, I guess it is. It's well, I'm not even going to say that, but that's who makes it. <laughs> but it's also $6. So this is something that you would be interested in. It just has a little, little bitty, I don't know if it's picking up, just see a little slightly little nick there. And sorry, my nails are a hot mess. I need to do those. But so this one's $6 as well. Let's see, it's USA on the bottom. These two I'm selling together. Um, this one isn't marked, but it's just a, I love mom mug from the 80s it looks like a very 1980s mug to me and then this one is um, made by the recycled paper products and it is i can handle any crisis i'm a mom so i'm selling those two together so those would be six dollars plus shipping together so i just thought i'd show them so if you're interested in those you can send me a message okay now the vintage goodies this actually two of these things two of these things also came are vintage things that have came out of my cabinet that I'm I'm trying to clear out because I'm wanting a different piece of furniture and in order for me to get a different piece of furniture probably one of the pieces of furniture that I have at the shop since I'm not going to be using it there anymore um I need to clear it out and as you know I'm a shover <laughs> I'm a I'm gonna, I, here's a drawer and I'm going to shove as much stuff as I can in this drawer. I'm notorious. My husband's probably in there shaking his head. He's home today. They're all in the other room. They've been banished. Um, but I got to, I got to clean it out. So I'm, I'm starting to do that. But this little girl I bought and I loved her and I decided to sell her, but she's just this little piano baby. Isn't she sweet? She doesn't have any damage on her at all. And I haven't really cleaned her up. And she's got a dirty bottom. Look, there's a little bit of dirt in there. Uh, but she's got like a little butterfly on her behind and a little blue bow. And she's got some gold paint. But there she is there. And she's flat on the bottom. She doesn't have any markings on her. I think that she's precious. I think that she would be cute as a cake topper for a bridal shower. That's kind of what I was thinking when I bought her. Not that I'm going to be having a baby shower anytime soon, but, um, but I just think that she's really cute. So she is, I'm selling her for $15. There's her sweet little face. So th if this is something that you might be interested in, you can let me know before I get it listed on eBay. So there is that sweet little thing. Little piano baby cake topper, I guess, but she is ceramic. And then the next thing that also came out of my personal collection, and this is something that dad found. And when he found it, I was like, mm, I kind of want that. And I grabbed it because I like California pottery. But this is a little kitchen made spoon rest. You can see there. Now she does have some crazing, which you know, crazing is one of those things. Some people don't like it. I like crazing. To me, it shows its age. It shows that it's 
got some character to it. So I like the crazing in things. And there's her little face. And she's very, very California pottery. She does have some crazing in her face too. She's got a little bit of discoloration on the back side, just from age. She is marked Pro Provincial, California Provincial Pottery. Um, it's hand painted by, and I can't make this name out. Maybe I can make it out. Hand, hand painted by blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Uh, she doesn't have any nicks or cracks on her. She does, I mean, around, she's a little rough around the edges on the bottom, as you can see there. She is a pottery piece. She's California pottery, but no cracks. Um, she has a hole in her head. Um, I moved my antique booth and sold two items on the first day there. Moving things around, Veranda Files. Moving things around is key. Um, yes. Yeah. Me closing. I'm just getting. <laughs> hey, Quirky Girl. There's my bestie right there, Quirky Girl. Me, us closing down the wildflower is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing because we're going to have more time to not be so stressed out. We're owning a business. So it's a good thing. We're all excited about it. Okay, so California Pottery Spoon Rest. Um, she is, I'm selling her for $16 plus shipping. So if this is something you can let me know. I'm going to give it about a week um, and then I'll list these on eBay. So let me know within that amount of time and then I'll get them listed on eBay. Um, the next thing, the next two things are things that were in a recent haul video that I have done. And um, I just grabbed them and thought I would see if you guys wanted to purchase them before I get them listed on eBay. The first thing is this cute little kitty bowl. Yes, quirky. I am. It's a good thing, though. It's a good thing. Because we're not going to get so stressed out. We have more time to go junkin'. And on my YouTube, everything's going to stay the same. I'm just not going to be stressed out being at the shop when I want to be out doing other things. So, kitten. And you can see it has a little kitten inside. And it's hand-painted. The kitten is hand-painted. And it is marked Japan on the bottom. No chips or cracks. It's got this little blue or blue green rim around. And I'm also asking um, $15 for the little kitten bowl too, plus shipping. More goodies. I know. I know. I'm going to be still going to the shop and filming and, and doing sales. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what that is. And it might be to where I'm experimenting a little bit. Um, <laughs> let's go on a road trip looking for blue bow ducks. Mm, that's a, well, you wouldn't have to go very far in my town because they're in every thrift store. Okay. The next thing I know, I love that bowl too. It's so cute. Mr. Fluffer Pants would not, would, requires a bigger bowl. Mr. Fluffer Pants likes to eat. And so I don't think that this bowl will be quite big enough for his little fat self. He needs a bigger bowl. The next thing, and I'm not going to, it plays music and I only can play for five seconds because who knows, but. I don't know what music, I don't know what sound it plays, but it's this little piano music box, this little gold gilded you can see it's got little cherubs on it um <laughs> i'd like to get that vintage camper that would be a great idea but this is made by what was it westland westland from japan and it is a music box with a little trinket tray there I don't know what song it plays, but it does play the music very well. And I don't want to get demonetized for playing it. So um, it is marked Japan on the bottom. And so I'm selling this little piano for $12 plus shipping. So this is something that you're interested in. It has no damage on it anywhere. Uh, then you can message me and let me know before I get it listed on the eBay. Take your junk on the road. We've... I don't know. We, we, we've been approached to set up at sales before. The thing of it is, 
that adds another stress too because then you have to worry about the weather and it's a lot of work to set up at those shops so we have a trailer i don't know i'm not going to rule anything out at this point we're still trying to figure it all out ideally what i would love to do is to be able to find like i said find a house that we can all live together a compound we'll all live together on this compound and I'll, dad will have his own space, but we also maybe will have some space where I can open up like an occasional shop, like four times a year. I don't know. I'm just, throwing, we're just, we're just discussing all of our options. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. We may set up in an antique booth eventually. I, right now, that's not what I want to do because I want to have the freedom, but Closing the shop is a good thing. We're excited about it. Okay, I have one more thing to show you. And th this thing was also shown in one of my Five Things Friday videos. And that is this cutting board. And it is made by Net... No, it wasn't Five Things Friday video, Misty. It was one of my haul videos. Okay, take a breather. <laughs> Sometimes you never know what's going to come out of my mouth from day to day. But this is a Nevco cutting board. Let's see, it's dated 1959. Um, you know, this is the side that you would use to cut your things. And then this was the pretty side. Uh, and I, I bought it, I loved the colors and I liked the, the sentiment and saying on it, oh Lord, I see is so great and my boat is so frail. That's hitting home a lot lately, but um, I just love the nautical theme of it. So this is also, I'm selling this. I'm going to be listing it for about $15 to $16 or so on eBay. But if this is something that you're interested in before I get it listed, just send me a message and let me know. It's in great, it's in great shape. Um, it is, what does that say on the bottom? I didn't even notice that. I don't even know what that says. It says something on the bottom, but I can't, it's something etched. Let's take some time to rest after closing the shop. Yeah, I, I'm taking a little bit of a mental, mental, mental break from the shop. I do, <laughs> I had a lady that bought a piece of furniture uh, last weekend and she hasn't picked it up yet. So I made sure that I got a hold of her to let her know that you can still come get your furniture. <laughs> so I am going to be out there next weekend. Um, and I will do, my plan is to still go out there and do kind of a five things Friday um, and show some things that are for sale. Um, it, you know, the only thing that's going to be different is I'm not going to be like showing how I stage things at the shop, but I am going to be showing how I stage things in my home. So that I think we'll like I'll like better because honestly, with having the shop, we've spent so much time and energy focusing on everything at the shop that our own home has not been given the time and attention that it needs. In fact, my husband's painting our bedroom today and it hasn't been painted in 17 years. So we're getting some stuff done. Um also, like I said, we I might do something to where I have kind of an auction online. Um, I'm I'm looking into that as well. Downsizing your auto repair shop, less overhead, less stress. Yeah, I mean, our overhead isn't, I mean, we still have overhead. We still have our property taxes and our, we have an employee and we have all of the cost of keeping the doors open and the heat and utilities and that kind of thing. But luckily, we have, we didn't have a mortgage on the building. Um, so there's at least, there's at least that. So we didn't have that kind of overhead. But honestly, just the stress of it all was making it very difficult to breathe, kind of, you know what I mean? So sad you're closing, I know. Yes, quality of life is definitely more important for sure. And we're already talking about some plans that we have, so... Um, yeah, I, the vlogs, I know, like, again, the vlogs are fun and I'm planning on, I'm going to be going to the, I shouldn't say this, I'm going to the bins 
soon. I'm, I'm like, I'm itching to go. Um, there is a couple antique stores that I have been wanting to go to that I'm going to film and, and, and while I'm there. The thing of it is my sourcing lately for the past, really for the past year or so, very little things that I have been sourcing and finding are things that I've been selling in the shop. A lot of the stuff that I've been finding, I've been selling online because you can get more money out of it selling it online than you can in my little town. So, you know, my, what I'm looking for is kind of changing a little bit. Like I'm not looking for big furniture pieces, um, but that kind of stuff isn't necessarily what like is interest maybe YouTube or if I'm, I'm, I'm looking for pieces of furniture for my house that I want to paint. Well, not, not good furniture to paint, not like oak and all that kind of stuff, but stuff that needs painted, repainted. Um, I'm still going to be doing videos at the shop. There's still going to be videos at the shop. It just won't be while the shop is open. Um, I will be making videos. We'll, we'll kind of document our, our journey, I guess you could say a little bit too. Um, but one of the things that definitely, and I am going to come every, I'm, every Friday, I'm still going to go. There may be some differentiating, differentiating days of when I'm going to go. Mark has every other Friday off. So there might be some times that since we're not tied down to the shop now that we may be able to go out junking and stuff. So I may not go live, um, but I still will be posting videos every Friday. Um, if we do the like the auction or sale videos, I'm probably thinking it's going to be like a Sunday afternoon or sometime where it's going to be able to be viewed by, you know, more people that might be smarter for us to do it when more people are available to, to watch it. Um, how long do you think it will take to fully close? <sighs> I don't know. Like we, the building is 2,500 square feet. That's a lot for one person. I mean, my husband helped me, but I was the one that staged everything and planned out everything and decorated everything and cleaned everything and priced everything. And it just is a lot. It's a lot. Um, I don't know. It, there, there's so much stuff there that every time I walked in, I felt like I was being strangled. Does that make sense? So I felt like I just didn't know what to do with everything. And especially since we've been selling a lot of big furniture pieces lately that we have a lot of smalls that I don't have anywhere to put. And I don't like a lot of clutter. I, well, I have a lot of clutter, but I don't like a lot of clutter. Clutter, um, so it's just been getting very overwhelming, and um, that's where we're at there. The shop is huge; it is a very big shop. The thing of it is, and people will say, "Well, why don't you open up, you know, an antique mall or rent booth space out?" I don't want to. I'm. I just. That's another whole thing that you have to take care of. And I don't want to do that. If I set up at an antique booth, if I set up at an antique booth, then I don't have to sit there all day with it. I'll go in there and make it pretty when I want to. And then I can not have to sit there all day. <sighs> I know family. I don't know. It depends because I don't have room for it in this house. So if we were, if we're able to move into a bigger home, then I, I would have the space for that buffet, but that's why we have to take the Christmas stuff down so fast at home because we're literally tripping over each other when the tree's up in the family room because it's, it's not a lot of space in here. Um, so that's kind of the plan. We, the first, the first stage was us closing. The second stage is going to be us figuring out what we're going to do with all the stuff. And if, if you guys have any ideas, make sure that you send me a message or leave the comment down below. And, um, people have approached me about doing like an online auction. So the thing of it is, it's not something that I can do by myself. I have to have either my husband there or Cindy or my daughter there to, you know, keep track of the time and keep track of comments. So that's something that we're, I might, I might do, and it'll be something that I will give people advance notice of. 
Uh, but I do like to be able to just show a couple things online each week on, on here and be able to talk to you guys and chat with you. Don't let Pinky go. I know that. Okay. Pinky, if you don't know what we're talking about, Pinky is a piece of furniture in my shop that is huge. It, he's at least, Mark, how tall is Pinky? I'm going to ask Mark. He's going to come in here. P Pinky is a piece of furniture. It was a built-in piece, so the sides are very unfinished. It was built into a home. How tall is Pinky, do you think? Um, at, we're right at 8 foot. Tall? Yeah. Yeah, it's about 8 foot. I about said 15 feet tall. <laughs> He's looking at me like, cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be 15 feet tall. Because it won't fit in our house. How tall are our ceilings? Right at eight foot. So our, our ceilings in our house, in every room, because we just live in a ranch style house, are eight feet tall. So Pinky won't fit in our house, but man, I want Pinky. Pinky is a big girl, too. Pinky is all one piece. You know, a lot of times hutches will be the below part, like where the cabinets and stuff is, and then the top part is the glass. And sometimes that... They're, they're two two separate pieces. Pink is one big girl. She is one big piece. She is fabulous. I wouldn't change a thing about her. But I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to fit her in my house. So, see, they're in there laughing at me right now because I said Pinky was 15 feet tall. She might as well be 15 feet tall. So, Pinky is great. Um... And I kind of, I mean, I know that the buffet has been in my family for a long time, but kind of like Pinky more. Shave some of the, we can't shave any off the bottom, Mom, because she's got cabinets all the way down to the bottom. My mom's on watching. Mom, Pinky fit in your house. Take Pinky, Pinky to your house. Yes, Pinky would come home with me today if I could get her in, in my house. Hello. So that's where we're at with the shop. And, you know, it's not a sad thing. I'm happy. But when I posted a thing, it, people were like, oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Look at the smile on my face. This is a great thing. Um, I'm happy to uh, be able to free up some time and get some stuff done around my house and go picking. And, and on Fridays when yard sales start up again, I don't have to be, be in a hurry to get to the shop. I got all day. Sell the house and move into the shop. No, I want to live. If I'm selling the house, I want to live out. I want to. I don't want to live. I want to live out. I don't want neighbors. Look up everything but the house auction site for ideas. Oh, everything but the house. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Creative spaces. Don't be. Don't be sorry. Be happy. We're, we're, we're good. And dad's fine too. Dad, dad has, he, dad has always said from day one, he has always, always said the minute it gets too much for you, close the door. And, you know, dad doesn't help. I mean, dad helps go. He, he's very good picker. He goes out and finds the stuff and he's provided, he bought the building. He provided all the stuff that we had to get started. So, but he doesn't, spend the amount of time and, and energy in that we that we put into it so but he understands he sees how much goes into it i mean he did antique malls and stuff for years and so he knows that it does take a lot of energy and time away from things and it just got to the last couple of months where my heart just really wasn't in it anymore and it showed i just didn't want to be there and um i i'm happy so i think that it's a good thing 100 people watching and 20 thumbs up. So make sure, give me the thumbs up, guys. It really does help my channel. And I have a lot of plans for this channel. I have a lot of things that I want to do. Um, and if you guys like the vlogs, I'll keep doing the vlogs. Be prepared to have dreams of your shop. I still have dreams of my shop. I know people have told me that. Yeah, well, I mean, I like being there sometimes but i don't like the stress um i have a gift store and would love to close my doors but i know i know 
Um, it is a lot. And, you know, it, I know a lot of people said, you know, to me, oh, it's so, you're living the life. You're living the dream life. You have your own shop. Man, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot. It takes away a lot. And then sometimes you wish you had your life back. Like, I was just thinking over Christmas break, you know, when I was still teaching. And, you know, you had the two weeks off at Christmas time. And I could just sit around and watch TV and not stress. And with reselling, you work all the time, which is fine. I love what I do now. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but there is no lounging around on the TV, watching TV over a holiday break. I'm constantly working, but now I can, I don't have to be at the shop work. I could be home because I like to be at home. That's the other thing. People have also said, well, why don't you just move your reselling business to the store? I don't want to. That's why <laughs> I like being home. Um, so that's why 31 thumbs up. Thanks guys. It really does help. It really, really does help. And I enjoy this so much. I enjoy being able to talk to you guys and I'm excited. I'm excited about being able to, 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 to do more things like this. Um, yeah, I mean, reselling is a lot of work. It's a lot of fun though. You can totally do both. You can totally work full time and resell part time and just do it as a hobby just for some extra money. That's kind of how it started for us. But um, then it just kind of snowballed into something that I just really, really enjoy doing. And I like, I like doing the research on pieces. I like, I like writing the, I like writing the listings. I don't like taking pictures of things. But I like packaging up the packages. I'm the weird one that likes to do that. And if you've received a package from me, you know that I like, I wrap them all like presents because I like to get stuff like that in the mail. And I find the stuff when I'm thrifting. So I'm recycling things that I'm finding at the bins and, um, and thrifting or yard selling or whatever. Um, everyone loves beautiful cakes, but they don't have to deal with the mess in the kitchen. It's very true. Um, yeah, yes, you're right, you're right. Opening up a retail store, it sounds like a dream come true, but man, it's a lot of work. Yes, Jennifer, I'm still making videos. Nothing, nothing's changing as far as my YouTube channel goes. The only thing that's going to change is that I'm not going to do like shop staging videos, but I'm going to be doing, um, how to stage vintage items in your home that you find thrifting. Um, I take a lot of inspiration. I've been watching a lot, a lot, a lot of um, Timeless Tre or Tarnished Treasures and Nicole Northgarden, and I love their content, how they include some of their thrifting finds and how they incorporate those things in their home as well as resell things too. Okay. Four countries, friends in four countries have told me in the past to open my own restaurant, and I always say, no way. I totally... I totally get not having the shop that you have. Yeah, it, you're tied down. When you have a shop, you're tied down to it. Um, and you you are, I mean, you're just, you're tied down to it. You could do an auction on site or online, tag sale online. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm researching those possibilities. And if I do something, it's probably going to start out small. Um, and then depending on how it goes, I'll, you know, I'll do things a little bit bigger. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn, you're always so sweet. I do like to wrap my packages up nice. And I get inspiration from Melissa at Fresh Blooming Clothing. She's like, she just wraps things up so nicely. So she's great. So make sure that you watch her channel too. 2020 is going to be a good year, Teresa. I, 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 think, I think that it's going to be. It might be a year full of changes for us, but it's going to be good changes. I'm excited about it. Okay, I have been on for 53 minutes, so I'm trying to keep this to an hour. So if you liked any of the things that I had shown, make sure that you send me a message. Yes, I have done a video on um, a shipping video. I've only done one. I, I need to do more of those. Um, first time watching from Greenwood. Well, hey, Greenwood, you've got a, a Goodwill outlet I like to go to and some really good Goodwills there in Greenwood. I thought about that too, selling everything as a ex existing antique business, but I don't know. I don't know that I want it to be an antique store. It's that bad. I don't want to go in there. It made me sad. Not really. 
yeah, smash the like button, guys. Um, so that's the deal. So don't be sad. Be happy because it's a good it's a good thing. We're all feeling great about it. Um, I couldn't sleep last night because I think I just have so many things that are running through this head of mine and ideas of what I want to do on my YouTube channel and things I want to have, you know, as far as getting rid of the stuff. Um, and as far as things I want to, you know, fix up on my own house since it's been neglected since for the past five years, we've been, you know, spending all of our time, energy and heart and soul into the building and we need to spin it in our own home. So that's the plan. So be happy because I'm happy. Nothing's going to change. You'll still see me. I'll still be making videos at least three times a week, sometimes more. And, um, it is, it's a new adventure and I'm excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Make sure that if you haven't already, you hit the like button, share my channel. Um, I've, uh, I'm really excited about this year and I think that it's going to be a good year. Make sure that you also, I'll put, um, Thrifting Nomad and, um, Thrifting Adventures channel, their links in my description. Go follow them. They're wonderful and have a really good day. And thank you so much for all of your support. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. And this was fun. You're good for my soul, people. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.